Hey everyone, Salesforce Shorts here. So in this video, we're just gonna talk about custom labels. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up setup and the developer console. Okay, so in the developer console, I'm just gonna open up my make get call out class. Um, if you're not sure what's going on here, maybe just go check out our previous videos on this. So this is just a API call out class. So in the endpoint, I've got the URL that I'm trying to hit, okay? So if I go back into setup and I type in custom labels, click on that, then new custom label. In here, I'm just gonna put my URL. Uh, oh shit. And putting the URL down there, okay. So now if I save that, go back into the developer console so a couple of things we need to do here. First of all, let me just remove all of that. So in here, I'm just gonna create a string. Uh, we'll just call that URL equals system dot label. Actually, if you type in system and you press dots, you can see all these different options you get here, okay? So this is pretty cool um, for if you wanna use something else. But for right now, we wanna use label and then paste our label in there so let me just go to make sure you use the name on the right okay not the description the actual name then paste that in there and all i need to do is just chuck that in my new endpoint okay oh no sorry not that the url all right perfect so now what this means is our URL is, let me just go back to custom label. So we created a custom label called my URL and in here we put in our URL. So if for some reason this URL needs to change, you can just go, a administrator can just come into custom labels and change it from here. So that makes it really easy. And that's what the this description is for. So you can just put in like what it's for exactly. So you don't need to go into the code to change it. You can change it from here and it will still call the same URL in this endpoint.